Hello YouTube! Welcome to part 3 of the SVT-40, a detailed look at the inner workings of this particular rifle. We're focusing today mainly on the gas system and the problems that I had when I took it out to, to shoot it. Um, so, yeah, I think part 3. Hope you enjoy. Okay, disassembly of the gas system or forward part of the rifle all begins with this barrel band right here. And there is a, um, well, let me flip the rifle over so you can see. There's a button right there, but that button can't be depressed until the cleaning rod is taken out. So let's move the cleaning rod down. The cleaning rod is really kind of ingenious. We've got a button right here that um, captures a, um, a collar. I guess the collar would be the right word. And it is a little bit tight. Oh, come on. There we go. Had to use the right hand. See, there's there's the collar of it captured. Once that comes out, so comes out the cleaning rod. Now let's go back to the barrel band. Now that's now that the cleaning rod is out, you can depress the barrel band retainer and the barrel band will come off. I'm going to zoom out. Yeah, I've got a dirty workbench. This comes off and you can wiggle it and take it all the way off. Let's put this back. But there's a retainer right here on both sides. So when you take this piece off, it has to come out of this retainer and it just pulls off. There's a retainer on both sides, just a piece of metal folded over. Zooming back out, now we can take the, the wood hand guard off, which is very, very simple. And now we have the gas system exposed. So zooming in. Here's the piston. Here's the, uh, the, the plunger. And to take that off, you hold the piston and pull out the plunger. Okay, now we're going to slide down here so you can see what's going on. And this comes out. This is actually what pushes against the uh, the bolt. I'll show you that. <clears throat> I'm gonna put the uh, put that back into the piston and we'll move the camera. Alright that's the hole that the uh, the piston comes out and I'm now moving the piston and you can see it goes to right there. It hits that collar and the spring and that's as far out as it goes. I'll go down to the other end and I'll show you what I'm doing. Alright, so all I was doing was taking this and pushing it down till it stopped. If I change my angle, 
you can see what happens there now. Taking this out and removing that rod. There's, there's the piston assembly. Let's zoom in on that as close as we can. So as the gas has come through, it pushes with the rod and the rod pushes the bolt. Okay, and what makes all that possible is this little tiny um, adjustment. Yeah, well, I'm going to adjust, I'll call it an adjustment plate. So let's take a little bit closer look at that. All right. We have this cute little wrench. There's a pentagon shape on this end, which matches with the pentagon shape up here. And then there is a cutout right here that allows us to open that up, or loosen that, I should say. And we can unthread to see but that's that's hollow inside and then this can just be pushed through it's not threaded and I want to show you this up close as I can so you can see what's going on different sizes of holes. Let's get some light over here. Different sizes of holes and each size is marked like here is a two which is the largest one which corresponds to the largest hole. Now the two is up here, the largest hole is down there. So when this is being adjusted, you have to make sure that you get this piece lined up so the hole, whether it's that large one or the smallest one, is lined up with the hole in the um, in the barrel and uh, easiest way to show that is that this, this hole right here goes all the way down into the barrel and if you're able to look in you'd see that this is now gone all the way down into the barrel there's also a hole in here that allows the gas to go through and this is what holds this entire assembly in place. This assembly right here is threaded on and that's a keeper that keeps it in place. So you have to align the hole in the keeper, the hole in this piece, um, this adjustment piece to make sure that the gas gets back there. <clears throat> Now, when I was out shooting and making adjustments, trying to get it to eject correctly, my, my very first shot stovepiped, I didn't realize at the time, this is, if you can see, there is a line right here 
I did not realize that each one of these settings had a corresponding groove and there is a corresponding groove right here so as I was aligning so I believe my very first setting was something like 1.7 And I wanted to align it to to two. Let's uh, make it easier. Let's put this back in. I'm not going to tighten it all the way up. So I want this to slide. So when you put your wrench on here, your Pentagon wrench, and you're changing it from position to position. See if I can get a little bit closer. That, that might do it. As you're lining this up, you have to make sure that this line right here mark lines up with this slot right there. So that would be about the right spot. All right, so there's the gas system. Let's put it all back together. I believe, well, I'm going to start, I'll start with two. I'm going to make sure that I line it up correctly. So I'm going to do it with my loop. for 1.2 is now lined up. So I will tighten this up. I will put I guess I best put this on first. Slide the piston rod back in place. It's ready to go. The wood hand guard drops on, and then so you can see that this, this flange, this turned flange right there, has to get underneath that retainer right there which it is on both sides so now I can put the um, the barrel band it can be put on either either direction depending on which way you want your sling on Push the detent, barrel bands back in place, and there we go. All right, on the back of the receiver is this little um, um, I'm not sure what to call it. But it, um, it's a little cover, and you see this cylinder shape in there. I think you'll be able to see that I can push that in. I 
I'm not going to push it in any more than that. Um, that is the release for the trigger assembly. So if you want to take the trigger assembly out, you have to flip this little flag out of the way and um, push that cylinder in, which pushes on a lever, which allows the trigger assembly to, to drop out. That is for another day. Now I have not done it yet, but if you take this all the way over to um, the 3 o'clock position, then this is supposed to come out. I have not done that yet. That will be part of the next 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 series. Okay, so there's part two of the SVT-40. Um, the next time I put out a video on the SVT-40, well, there's snow on the ground, and uh, where I go shooting, I, I, I could put it into four-wheel drive and get there, but it's, it's cold, it's in the, in the 20s, so as soon as it warms up to the 40s, I'll take this out and I will find the correct gas setting, whether it's 1.2, 1.3, 5.7 or 2, and um, see if we can't get this thing to eject properly because, um, uh, well, the rifle was dead on. At 100 yards, um, I was only able to fire one at a time because it wouldn't eject properly, but it was absolutely dead on. I hit the target um, every time. It was wonderful. Now I have to make sure, after a thorough cleaning, that the, uh, the gas port is set to the right um, amount of gas and uh, it ejects properly, and that should be the next video. So. <clears throat> I hope, you're, I hope you enjoyed the close-up look at the disassembly of the SVT-40. Um, and I hope it made sense. Uh, if you have questions or comments, put them down below, and I will try to cover any of those questions or concerns um, in the next video. Now remember, I am not an authority. And there's other videos out there that, uh, that are, could be a ton better than what my video is. I just like showing you the inner workings of how the rifle is, a close-up shot of how things are. I am by no means trying to suggest that I am an expert. And so if I have called something by the wrong name, or um, explain something. It was probably I used the wrong words. I know how the I know the mechanics of the of the rifle. I know how it works. But sometimes my tongue gets in the way. So be patient with me. But note those comments, and I'll correct them in the next video. So until then, I'm Sharps1874. I thought you might like to know.